Good evening, I'm Sarah Donchi in for Elizabeth Cook. I'm Ryan Yamamoto, now at 11 on KPX5 and streaming on CBS News Bay Area. Lines stretching around Bay Area blocks, people waiting for a dwindling supply of monkeypox vaccine. San Francisco's ordered 35,000 doses, but when they'll arrive is anyone's guess. KPX5's Andrea Borba tells us what's also in short supply tonight is time. Well, Brian, there have been 68 confirmed cases of monkeypox in San Francisco to date, though sources tell me there may be more, as many test results from as far back as July 4th still have not been processed yet. Tonight, the push is on to get the monkeypox vaccine into arms before the outbreak spreads any further. This selfie of Mark Bischke is not from April 2021, waiting in line for the COVID-19 vaccine. It's from today in Berkeley, waiting for a dose of the monkeypox vaccine. None of us had expected to wait eight hours in line. But the demand for monkeypox vaccine has far outstripped the supply. On Wednesday, San Francisco General Hospital, which had this line snaking outside of it the day before, announced they were cutting off vaccinations with only 50 doses left. For folks like Mark, the slow response from federal, state, and local governments feels painfully familiar. Especially some of us who came through AIDS and the trauma of AIDS and having to share information in order to find out what medications were where. I think this is reawakening some of that on top of the COVID trauma of, or, uh, you know, the COVID experience of where what are we doing and where are we getting what from? Dr. Peter Chin Hong, an infectious disease specialist at UCSF, says there needs to be a push by the federal government to get more doses into arms right now. It's urgent because if we don't intervene right now, uh, monkeypox may stay with us forever, which is what we call endemic. Uh, we have an opportunity now to have it stamped out. Among the reasons for the urgency, the long incubation period of monkeypox where one can be infected but symptom free, symptoms which can be squashed if vaccinations are given out, even to the infected. You can get the vaccine, build up that immune cells, and the immune cells start working immediately, and then you can actually prevent getting disease. Even if you take it uh, after a week or so, you can reduce the severity of the disease. For Mark, he might have sore feet from standing in line for eight hours, but something else is pushing that feeling out. I wish everyone could experience this relief. Now, to be clear, monkeypox is not as contagious as COVID-19. It requires three to six hours of skin-on-skin -skin contact for transmission. COVID only needs 15 minutes from six feet. Nor is monkeypox a sexually transmitted disease. It enters the body through tears or broken skin. There has been an uptick of monkeypox cases, though, since Pride weekend and with many street festivals scheduled for the summer, the LGBT community is concerned and wants to be prepared. All right, thank you very much, Andrea Borba, reporting live in the newsroom.